So let's take a look at some of the recommended setup options for your user account. You should always start by verifying your profile information. You can access this by hovering over your name and choosing My Profile. Or on certain accounts, you'll be able to click Account and then choose Personal Preferences. So the information that you see here will be used in certain emails, for example, a request to get a signature. So it's definitely important that you make sure that everything correctly represents you and your company. If you make any changes, just click the Update button. Now let's take a look at how you select the style of signature used on documents that you sign. There are three different options, and the default option is called a font-based signature. Every time you click to sign a document, a handwritten font is applied to your name, and you achieve the appearance of a handwritten signature. Now the second option is a biometric signature, where you actually draw your signature with your mouse or your finger on a tablet, and you can set this up when you're going through the normal process to sign a document. You just click on the Draw Your Signature icon, then go ahead and draw your signature, and when you've achieved something that you're happy with, make sure that you check this box here, Save Your Signature, then click Apply. And at this point, your signature is saved to your profile and it will be used going forward whenever you sign documents. Now the third option is to use a copy of your actual written signature. If you want to use this option, you can do that here. All you have to do is sign a piece of paper and then scan that to your computer and then click on this link and select the image file of your signature. So if you're happy with this, go ahead and click Save This As My Signature then going forward, this will automatically populate every time you sign a document. Now you should also spend some time setting up your initials in the same way as your signature so that both are consistent. Now there's one more item that we recommend you spend a little time configuring and this is your events and alerts. These allow you to really stay in touch with your transactions. Now depending on the type of account that you have, you may see slightly different options here on your screen, but the functions remain the same, so let's go through each. Let's start with events and alerts. Events are actions that happen to a transaction, like sending, or viewing, or signing. And alerts are expected actions that don't happen within a specified time frame. If they are selected, then they're listed here on your home screen. So we recommend that you leave all these boxes checked so that you can maintain a complete audit trail of your documents. Emails work in much the same way, except that checking any of these boxes will trigger an email every time the event or alert occurs. So depending on your volume, we recommend that you use these options just for the more important events, such as agreement signed or agreement declined.